word come, this word come is going to be crossed by frame. And if it is crossed by a frame, don't you think you are wrong? Will this word come still remain come? It will not because there is a line that has passed through it. That's why I encourage you to begin with the, a frame before doing anything. After this, we come inside and look at another component, which is the business address. And the business address is written after or within a frame. And after that, you have to make sure that you center. Centering the address means that you put the address when it is well balanced, depending on the length of the, uh, depending on the length of the, 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 the address. Mine is now Bugs Carpentry Workshop. I can begin from here, Bugs, uh, Bugs, Bugs, Carpentry Workshop. So you can see that the distance from here to here and the distance from here to there is a little bit equal. Though it may not be 100%, but let us always try to center our address. Then from there, this address has PO box C. 6121 and now we have our town which is Hoima. Then we have the telephone number 7820000004. This one becomes the telephone contact of a business. What am I trying to mean here? What am I trying to mean here? That he, when you when you write the address, this address must have the box number, the name, the box number, and the town within which the business is operating. And now our town is Oima. This is the business telephone contact that clients can use while contacting the business. Then from there, there is another component we called a logo. We called it a logo. So logo, my logo can be bug Z, carpentry workshop. And I put it in any form of circle, any form of what, so long as it is there. Someone even write BCW and doesn't put there any circle. That one becomes his logo. Because you cannot teach me how to prepare my logo. It is upon you. It is you who knows how to make your logo. Because that is your business. Mine is Bugs Carpentry. Yours can be any name. This one is box 6121. It is not a must that yours should be 6121. Don't cram this. This is a Hoima. You could be in Capichorwa and your box number is whatever Capichorwa. You could be in London and it's a pure box London. You could be in any district, in any town, and yours could be that town. So don't cram Hoima. I think we are together. Then the telephone number, this is mine. Because this is my business. You can also have your own number. If you don't have the telephone number, put the number of your friend, put the number of your parent, put the number of your teacher. But what is important when your name is marking is the number there, that yes. Then from there, from there, we have what we are calling another component that we are calling, we are calling uh, the name of the, uh, sorry, the name of the document, yes. The name of the document. That is now a cash receipt. You put it in this box. Why do we put in that box? Because we are trying to show that this cash receipt is bolded. 
is bolded. You know what, when you talk about bolding a, a, a letter, for example, if you write the word go, you write go like that. This one is a little bit bolded, but for us, we don't accept it because when you write like this is an tidiness, it is not fine art. So to show that you are meaning this, you put it in the car box. So for that matter, from there, we got what we call, uh, we got what we call the receipt number. Because I said there are very many components. Receipt number, and you can have your number as 006. Any number you put there, you are right. Then from there, you can have the date. You can have the date when you write when you are designing this document. But remember, we are writing a cash receipt for use, meaning a customer has not yet come. So you put a dash where there. I have to explain. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you come and now look at your receipt. Mm -hmm. Ah received with thanks from put a dash being payment of you put a dash the sum of shillings you put a dash, you can even show me the box for amount in a U G X. Hmm? Then was it by uh, sorry, was this one by cash or by check? Put a dash. Then you have any balance? 40. A dash. We are looking at major components now. From there, you can continue by telling me, uh, by making a conclusion, and you thank them because they received you thanks from big payment of the sum of shillings, check or what, do you have any balance? You can say, thank you. Then you sign as a cashier. There is no need of say received or what uh, uh, you sign as a cashier. You put your name. That is if you are preparing. Eh? But now because you are preparing, just say thank you and you leave it like that. I just wanted to know when I come to talk of preparing, you understand. So, after that, I want to show you the meaning of designing. You can see we have the logo, we have the cash receipt, we have the receipt number, but you can see we have not put the date there. You can see there are dashes here. We have not filled in. Are we together? Now, it means we are just looking at this document and we are placing it in our business. The customer has not yet come. We are, it is in the receipt book. When a customer comes, you open the receipt book, you start filling the name of the customer, the debt, how much has he paid, like that, like that. And then you will pluck at this original and you give it to him. Meaning designing a document, we don't fill in. We leave the blank spaces because the person to whom we want to give it, or want to send it, has not yet come. That's why we normally say these are design documents to be used or for use. But if we are prepared, it means a client has he come. So we are preparing a document for him, we give it to him. So after that, you can come and close. These are the major components of the what? The cash receipt. After closing, it means now I want to show you where do you get the marks. We have closed it. It means the document is now complete. You have a marker where? On the heading. You have a marker here on the logo. You have a marker here on the address. You, make a, you have a marker here on the name of the document. 
you have a marker here on the number because every document must have a number why did we put a number here because whether we are designing or preparing the number must be there you have a mark on the date you have a marker here you have a marker there in other words you have a marker on a frame if you count one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, even if you go to 13 eh, and 14, but what we want is, at the end of it all, the exam is going to award a 12 ticks, 12 ticks, 12 ticks times a half is equal to 60 max. Meaning this question can be set and it can be made to carry five from a uh, five max, six max, or even seven in max. That's how we design a business document that you are find to be a cash receipt. We are going to take a short break. When we come back, we are going to look at how we prepare a cash sale receipt. <laughs> 